In this video, we are going to factorize quadratic expressions which have coefficients larger than 1. Now, what do we mean by coefficient larger than 1? If the expression has been written in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, then this number here, the value of a, is larger than 1. So we can see from this question that the coefficient is 2. Now, the first step we're going to take is we are going to find the product. Now to find the product, we are going to multiply 2 by 7. So 2 times 7, which is 14. So this is our product. Now we are going to split 9 into two numbers. When we multiply these two numbers, it gives us the product 14. And we add or subtract gives us 9. So 2c squared Plus, let's look at the numbers. So if you're not sure what num two numbers these are, list the numbers. So all the different ways we can get a 14. So 2 times 7 minus 2 times by minus 7. 1 times 14 minus 1 times four minus 14. Uh, if there's any other way, so let's have a look. No, that's it. Now, out of the, all these uh, products, which one adds up to 9? We can see 2 and 7 adds up to 9. So we're going to add 2c plus 7c plus 7. Now we're going to factorize these expression in two different parts. So we're going to split them in two different parts. Okay, so first of all, let's factorize 2c squared plus 2c. So we can see 2 is common, highest common factor is 2, and then c is common. So inside the bracket, 2c squared divided by 2c is just c. And then plus 2c divided by 2c is just plus 1. Let's factorize the second part. Common factor is 7. And then 7c divided by 7 is just c. And 7 divided by 7 is 1. Let's factorize these two parts now. So we can see, so you've got c plus 1. And in the other bracket, we have 2c plus 7. And that's the answer. So we need to make sure we are multiplying the coefficient by the end number to find the product. And then split it, find the product and sum, and then factorize it in two parts, and then finally factorize it again. In this example, we have a negative. So let's go ahead and find the product. So product is 5 times minus 3. Be careful, there's a minus in front of the 3. 5 times minus 3, which is minus 15. List all the different ways we can get 15. But when you add those two numbers, we need to find the sum of 2. So 1 times 15. It's a minus 15, so we have minus 15. So minus 1 times 15. 3 times minus 5. And minus 3 times 5. So out of all these, we can see 3 times, minus 3 times 5 gives us a 2, positive 2. So let's go ahead and write this 5x squared plus 5x minus 3x minus 3. Let's factorize in two different parts. 5x squared and 5x, common factor is 5x. 5x squared divided by 5x is just x. 5x divided by 5x is plus 1. Minus 3 is a common factor. 3, minus 3x divided by minus 3 is just positive x. And minus 3 divided by minus 3 is positive 1. So we can see x plus 1 is common. So x plus 1. And then 5x minus 3. 5x minus 3 in the other brackets. And that's the answer. So it's time for you to have a go at some questions. Over here we have five questions. Pause the video, have a quick go at these questions. And at the end, I will show the answers and you can mark your answers. Here are the answers, mark your answers. And if you think this video helped you, please do give it a like and don't forget to subscribe for future videos. Mr. Mahmood, helping you do better in maths.